Okay, let's have a look at what we mean when we talk about genes and alleles. You remember from the karyotype, if you've watched that, that this is what a chromosome looks like once we bust it out of the nucleus and dye it. Here is a couple of paired chromosomes. They are homologous, meaning they're the same, and they all have the same amount of genes and the same places on the, along their lengths. And that's the same for all chromosomes, all pairs of homologous chromosomes. So you'll see that's something that we use when we're matching them up for the karyotypes. We match up the banded areas. We call them these the bands. As you can see, there's some darker areas along them. Okay. To make the structure of the chromosome easier to understand, we draw them like this. So this is a drawn representation of what we're looking at here. Okay. Gene, the portion of the chromosome that serves as the basic unit of heredity. Genes control the characteristics of an offspring of, that an offspring will have. As you can see, I've gone along and uh, I've marked out some genes that you might find on this imaginary chromosome. This gene is for making your earwax, this one's for your eye colour, and this is the one that dissolves the webbing between your toes when you're born. Um, we have a gene that does everything that happens in our body. There's a gene that, that causes that. That's why our chromosomes are so important, because um, they're the ones that tell us to do all of these things. So, as you can see here, while both chromosomes have the same genes, they have different forms of these genes. For example, in the chromosome above, uh, one form of the gene for eye colour will give you blue eyes, which is this one whereas the other one will give you brown eyes. When you have different forms of the same gene, we call these forms alleles. So, some people, you might commonly hear some people say, oh, we're different because I've got different genes from you. That's not true. We all have, um, as we said, we all have 46 chromosomes, they all pair into 23 types, and they all have the same areas with the same areas for a gene to happen the variation that you see amongst people is where alleles come in. So when you have different forms of the one gene or a different um, forms of the gene that can produce a different phenotype or a different look such as skin colour, eye colour, um, shape of head, uh, that's where you have alleles. So variation comes from alleles and you'll see on this chromosome that we have the same allele for the gene that makes the earwax, we have the same allele for this gene, for this gene, but when we're talking about eye colour, we actually have two alleles. We have one that will give you a blue, blue eyes, and one that will give you brown eyes. So that's what we mean when we use the terms gene and allele. 